All right, so we've gotten quite a few questions about my palette when everyone sees what I paint on. And there's not a lot I can do about making this uh, available to the public because it's about, well, it's over 30 years old. Actually, I don't know exactly how old it is because when I bought it, it was old. Uh, so it's a porcelain, an old porcelain table. It has a little drawer here, lots of different tubes. Some of these are so old, but, um, and all this stuff up here, most of it doesn't mean a thing. I just kind of stick things there once in a while. But what's important about this is it's 30 inches off the ground. So right below my waist is perfect uh, for my arm. I don't have to scrunch my arm up here. It's just the right height. It's huge. I don't remember. I, I think I put the dimensions somewhere on the, on the supplies list or something. I don't remember exactly. But uh, I've got this nice big area for mixing in. And I like, I don't like to have to clean off my palette. Some artists do. But I like to mix constantly and make, start with one pile and then extend that pile out. Warmer on one side, cooler on another. Maybe darker on one side, lighter on another. It doesn't really matter. As long as I have plenty of space that I can keep manipulating that pile and uh, modifying it for whatever it is that I'm working on in my painting. And that helps me to keep a harmony more in my paintings, I think, than constantly scraping and starting over. And I like white because that's what I start with generally on my painting. Some people will put a tone on there. They start every canvas with some kind of a tone. I don't. Some of them start off with just white and I just go for it with that white panel. So I like to start with white. I can see all of my colors well. I can see the kinds of values that I have in there. Uh, this is, I've used it for a long time and maybe it's just because I'm used to it. So I know there, it's, it's a real uh, debate between artists. I don't debate it, I just like it. But uh, a lot of artists think gray is the way to go. I've tried gray, didn't appeal to me when I tried it. So this is what I've stuck with. But if you're out, you have to go to, I don't know, you get, just have to get lucky with a, a garage sale or an auction or something. Uh, but, but if not, they do have some, I don't know, acrylics or something, maybe glass that you can get and put a white backing underneath it. But I do recommend a nice big palette where everything can be spread out and you don't have to worry about these little dinky piles of paint that might uh, constrain our imagination. All right, there you go. Have fun. Talk to you later. Happy painting.